All right, take two. I wanted to talk about the media in node and the new setting that it has when you have it in, in DaVinci Resolve 18. So right now we have a regular media in, which is where our footage is and another media out over here. And say I want to use another piece of footage, like say this clip I have underneath this clip over here. I can't really access it if I'm inside this fusion clip unless we use the new setting on the media in. So just face media in and right there. And then if we go up to the media source and click background now it will source out whatever is behind this clip on the edit page this is very nice and now you can reference another clip that's in the background and you don't have to mess with anything else so even if i move this over and check this again now all this footage is being processed over here in the background it probably needs to be updated just maybe add a new one into here there background and bam now it's updated yeah now we could layer stuff together and be able to use it in fusion very nicely it doesn't do individual layers but just whatever is in the background of this clip kind of like it's an adjustment clip but now we can make say like a box transition so much easier with this so like let's just say i want this here and then let's make this up like that let's bring it over 0.75 and then well let's say we need to like in the middle here average mats transform this to the right side over here and then now we could transform this a lot easier and see what's actually there so that's just very nice like that open that up get our spline panel here grab that grab this s and it's like an s there so that's just nice before we would have to, we wouldn't have this. We would just have to assume where the clip is going to be. We actually couldn't even adjust this background of this clip. So we need to put this what on top. Then we need to what go to this clip. If it goes in the right clip, this clip, copy these nodes over, bam, paste, and then put it over here, there, and assume that whatever we're doing will pause it correctly on the clip below it. But now we can kind of work backwards with this. Now, what could this be used for? Be used for opacity transitions it could be used for box transitions like this uh recently in this edit i'm working on i used it in order to being used in one section of clips and then have it be on the timeline and then then the next transition i have it set up so i could use it for there so for example here i have this going like this and this is the clip that's being referenced inside of this fusion page right over here at the bottom or yeah, right here and then this is going and be used here and then now this clip is using it for the next part of it which is right here it's just so much nicer know where everything is how everything interacts there's no more guessing if you can work with the workflow somewhat like this and have it all being able to be flexible to move around in the edit page like that so yeah